true, but but there have been some folks who have tried to come back, and they've been vicious to them on those blogs. But you've got nothing but love, so I mean, <laughs> hey, it's all a, right. It's well, a, I feel you. I feel you. It's a beautiful. You thing. a businessman. Yeah. Well, you know, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> you know, I try to do what I do. All right, so, the, so the new album's out, Second Chance. But Second let, Chance. Let's go back. We're going to talk about that. we got some time, but let's go back. Let's talk about the family. How's the family? The family is great, man. I have 125 zillion, quadrillion, thousand, hundred million more support from them. They told me, they said, L, I said, listen, they've been asking for this reunion. They said, listen, do you right now, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> we got you. They said, we'll let you know when we're ready. We got you and you got us. And I thank them for that. Yeah. Bunny, Randy, Marty, James, Chico, Tommy, all of y'all. Love you for that. <laughs> you know, I learned so much about your family from TV One. They did the Unsung Special. And I learned so much about your family that I really didn't know at the time. It was very, for me, it was very enlightening. What you learned was about yourself because my family. Well, my name is not the bars. I learned about you guys. <laughs> well, you know what? But the thing is, what you learned about yourself because my family is your family. You know, it's, it, it was called unsung for a reason because there's a lot of you out there that are heroes, right. but you are unsung hero. And God put us in a place where we could tell your story because it's the triumph of the human spirit. You feel me? And what God has instilled in all of us. To make us overcome yeah this is true this is true all right all right all right he's preaching today but that's good that's good well now let's see how is chico doing because i know he's been he's been in and out of jail a couple of times too but he's another one like i said you guys just have an ability you have that god-given talent you you have your jobs waiting for you when you get out and that means something not everybody can do that you know i mean I, so that's something to be commended you know you guys, yes thank i mean you're just a very thank talented so family so how, how's he doing these days he's doing great yeah. he's here in new york um, he's preparing to go on tour. He's rehearsing right now for his thing. He wanted to be here. And matter of fact, I'm glad you said that. He told me, Chico sends y'all his love. Yeah. <laughs> you ever think of working with him? Like maybe doing some duet or something like I'm that? I'm working with him right now. He's in my spirit. He's in my heart. Okay, I'm talking you about know, on stage, singing on stage, before a microphone. You. Okay, I told you, you're a businessman. I yeah, 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 yeah. We're about business here this hour, okay? You talk to my manager. <laughs> we can make money together. <laughs> so any plans to do that? Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Now, what about the family getting back together as the barge and just going on the road and doing some things like that? Well, Is that a possibility? Let me clear up something. Motown okay. never tried to break the barge up. You can't break a family of love like us up. You know what I mean? Um, we were born in love and we endured through love. Um, it was just a business move and we're still together. You know, my mama, she didn't raise no weaklings. That's a strong black woman. Believe that. Oh, yeah. I saw on TV. She's a strong <laughs> black woman. <laughs> big time. Big time. So to answer my question, are there any plans Monday maybe to have the whole group back on stage together as a family? We'd love that. Would you guys love that? See the whole debage, bunny on down, everybody, right? Chico, too. If it happens, I'm going to make sure I give you 10% at least. Bro. Okay. <laughs> that'll work. Business, man. <laughs> Well, I think these are things people are interested in. You know, like we, we love DeVarge. I mean, you know, we kind of right. grew up with you guys, you know. Yeah, well, like I said, one. they told me I have their support right now. They said, actually, this was the worst. Yeah, we'll let you know when we're ready. Okay, okay. And that's it. Okay. Right now, you know, I'm trying to hold up the bloodstained banner, my brother. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, all right. Hey, I am not mad at you. We're just happy to see you back. I like those shoes. You ain't mad at me. <laughs> Woo! So listen, um, I understand now. Okay, we, 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 we're gonna do. Y'all ready to hear some more music? <laughs> that was a trip. We got we got we got plenty more questions. We're gonna let the audience ask you some questions too. All right, cool. And we want to hear you sing. Give us all that right. golden voice. Okay. She's a queen of my heart. She plays a very great part in me. In me, baby. I call your name, girl. I call your name. I think of you. Sometimes I 
Serious XM. I'm close and personal. Down the bar. You know what, baby? I've been watching you all night long. And, uh, I noticed you've been turning on every man to try to get at you. And I've been wondering what I gotta do just to get close to you. You say that you need a man. Your life that you can love and trust And I'm thinking I know just who you need That would be me Cause I know that I can make you happy Be your eyes and look at me Baby, come to me All I can do in my power To get close to you Jump it through And I'll step close Please tell me what I gotta do to All the hurt you ever felt in your life But if you don't try You never know what we can be, baby Open your eyes and look at me And take a chance on me, baby And this is up close and personal. I like that one. I see the audience. You like, I like that one, right? Yeah. So that's from the new CD, Second Chance. Yeah, I like that one. So let's talk about that CD. Or do you want to sing some more? 
<laughs> well, we're we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. To you. Now, listen, <laughs> uh, I read about your CD. You work with Babyface. You work with uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. Now, did these people, were they waiting to work for you, or did you have to go seek them? What was the deal? Well, um, being that I had just gotten out of prison, um, I um, had depended a lot on my manager, Pete Farmer, and I said, Pete, there's certain people that um, I wanted to work with and that I had... Um, we ran across each other's paths, and I just want to let them know that, you know, I got a record deal now, and he said, no problem, I got you. I told him who they were, 50, Fabulous, and uh, Faith Evans were among um, a few of the people that I wanted to work with, and we were able to do it, pull it together. So he went and got them, and um, they said, yeah, we'll do it. So and um, I think we put together um, some love for you. You yeah. know, <laughs> but the one with faith is real fly. Everybody likes that. Everyone, yeah. we we play that to death here on Heart and Soul. Oh, okay, so. that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah, most definitely. And I haven't heard the other ones with Fifty, but that's pretty interesting that you're working with Fifty and yeah. Fabulous too. You know, it's I, a I was, good thing. I, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. It is. It is. I mean that. You know, it's, it's hey that they even wanted were willing to work with you. I mean, they look up to you, and enough of them have used your beats over the years. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I mean, they just ought to give you some props and some dap and work with you. You know, so go behave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you wrote most of the stuff on the album, right? Yeah, I co-wrote with Babyface, uh, Michelangelo, Mike City, um, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Ron Fair, um, the Avila Brothers, Polo. It's just a great album, man. It's, just, it's just a good thing. Oh, I believe that. How long did it take you to get the whole thing together, like recording process? This and is everything? the quickest album I've ever done. Really? Yeah, I mean, it took me like um, two months and usually and it was like yeah you know because it was everybody was hands on it was like come on let's do this uh -huh. i like what well, this is a this is a fast generation right here <laughs> yeah yeah you know 50 came in the studio was like shorty all that yeah yeah shorty all that <laughs> you know <laughs> he was like yo just let me hear what you, let me hear the song with this now once he's like boom okay shorty all that yeah yeah shorty all that i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> wow you know, well, that's how, how they long, do it. How long is the usual process? Though? I mean, two months is quick for an album. I've heard people talk about they worked on albums for two years. I mean, back in the day, Stevie Wonder took like five years to make well, one no, album. Well, no, yeah, no, I took, I used to take two years. But the thing is, I started on, it took me two months, you know. Um, you know, my manager, P. Farmer, really put, he a and R this whole project. Um, and then by the time we had to put the finishing touches on it, it took about another four months okay. because, you know, when Ron Fair gets in the studio, he gets busy. Yeah. You know, he's a musical genius and he's not going to let nothing come out that he has a conviction for right. um, unless he, you know, can feel it. Right. You know, and I appreciate him for that. I really do, because he understands that real music needs to be felt. That's right. So there it is. Yeah. So did you write a lot of songs? I know a lot of times when people prepare an album, they'll write more songs than they need. Yeah, 27 songs, but we only <laughs> use 16 of them. <laughs> okay, so there are 11 songs left over. What becomes of those now? Because you hear, like, years later, an artist will have stuff out of the vaults. Now, is that going to go into the vaults, or will that go on another album? You do, or you just don't know yet? <laughs> well, like I said... I'm not giving up. I'm here to stay. So you ain't got to wait till I die to hear mine. Okay. You know right. what I'm saying? All right. All right. <laughs> it's there. It's available for you. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. When I die, you die. We die together. Or we're going to be here together. Believe that. So you choose one. <laughs> All right. No, don't well, get quiet. No, no, my boss. Actually, okay, let me explain to y'all something right now. When I'm quiet like that, it means my boss is in my head giving me little notes. Oh, anyway. Okay, I'll feel you. All right, you know, you know that, right? You, yeah. you, you know that. You've been on TV a million times. <laughs> so, audience, we're going to get ready for your questions in a few minutes, but right now, we got to hear that golden voice one more time, right? Yeah. Elder Barge on Up Close and Personal here at Heart and Soul, Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. 